Hello, I'm Nigel Richards, and this is yet another edition of Nigel Knows Philly. We are downtown, headed down to the Zoning Board of Adjustments for our hearing this morning. For two projects, right in my fanny pack there. Fanny packs are very cool. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Anyway, uh, I had intended to tell you lots about the zoning process. Yeah, I'm doing a little video here. But uh, what happens is you get the Neighborhood Association's approval, you draw plans, you come up with something, blah, blah, blah. You get the Neighborhood Association's approval, then you show up to the zoning board in the city of Philadelphia, and then they determine whether or not you're allowed to build what you intend to build. So, there's my partner, Mr. Phillips. We're headed over there, right, buddy? That's right. Good luck. Here we go. Good luck. Time to make the donuts. We're rocking and rolling. Armed with plans, attorneys and architects. Coming for you. Paul, well, how you feeling? Very well, thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh, how many copies of the Continental did you have today, sir? Three. Uh-huh, and what does that do to your body? Makes me feel good. <laughs> there we go, Philly Car Share. We'll have one of those. So, we came up with a plan for a dilapidated warehouse, bought a bunch of lots around it. We're looking to put up a 29 unit building, 25 residences, three commercial and a gym. So that should be exciting. And then we're looking to uh, tear down an existing strange warehouse in the middle of a residential block and return it to residential. Put 10 units in there with eight interior parking places and one Philly car share at both buildings. One shared car service, because we can't guarantee which we'll use, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Now there's Theodore guarding your van. <laughs> Here's one of our proud applicants today. Hello, Jeffrey. Are, are you video? I'm videotaping, yes sir. Uh, why? I don't know, why not? I'm actually going to put it on my website. <laughs> Hello! Oh man, we are at the tail end. It is now 8.45 of a long day of a bunch of that. Plans, boards, blah, blah, blah. My back hurts for some reason. But anyway, well, the excitement is we were approved for a 29 unit building on Front Street, which is absolutely incredible, amazing proof for that and uh, the board is going to vote on our 10 unit building right around the corner from my house right here and that um, the board is holding their vote after they see the neighborhood association vote which this evening went positive so what happens then is uh, the city grants us these zoning variances on these projects we get the permits the zoning permit and then we submit construction drawings and we actually build these buildings. So that's a little bit about zoning. At the end of my day, I'm going to go have a glass of wine or several and enjoy myself. And thank you for watching yet another blurb. I am here with my visitor tag. Pretty much thoroughly exhausted. I think it's actually a stress-induced fatigue syndrome. But uh, been working on this zoning stuff today all day long, which is exciting, very exciting, very exciting zoning area today. There were stuff about a hotel at Second and Poplar Street, stuff about the uh, Jacob Holtz building on York York Street in my neighborhood, stuff about the 11 homes being built on Tulip, and of course our 29 unit building on Front Street and our 10 unit building on Dauphin. Uh, I don't know why I'm blithering, but I'm just excited. I'm waiting for my ride because I don't need to ride my bike. It's freezing and I'm not driving because I'm going to go out and have some wine. There's, there's a text message. Anyway, um, it's a really fun process though, this whole zoning thing. You actually go out and purchase a parcel or put a parcel under agreement. Then you come up with a creative way, a use of that, and if it doesn't conform to what the existing zoning is, then you have to apply for a variance. 
So you file your drawings that you've come up with with your architect. Then you receive a refusal stating the reasons that it was refused because of whatever is outside of code that you're trying to do. So if the code says you can go 35 feet and you're trying to go more than 35 feet, or if the code says you're doing three family and you're trying to do 12 family. From there, you then go and approach the neighborhood association, the council person's office, and you go and you get neighborhood votes and you get the council person's support, and you do whatever you have to do, and you go down to the city planning office and get their support, and then you go to the traffic, and then the parking and the streets and make sure that everything works and everything's okay, and they all agree with it, and they stamp your plans. Then you finally, with all of your petitions with your neighbors and your neighborhood association meeting letter and your blah, 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 you show up to your zoning hearing and that's where the big wigs, and it's so amazing how efficient they are, they are so on it, they're just, they fire away their questions. Clearly these people know exactly what they're doing. And they just grill you a little bit, you present a little bit, answer a couple questions, blah, 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 is anyone in opposition, is anyone in favor, thank you, boop, and they vote and that's it. It's that fast, that easy, amazing. And this only took, oh gosh, uh, on one project about a year and another project, I don't know, six months at least. Anyway, so that's a little more elaborate about the, the zoning process and I hope this video doesn't turn out to be too long, so I'm going to say peace out, I'm out for some red wine. See ya, NigelKnowsPhilly.com and please reach out to me, 215-327-5521. Yes, I'm crazy putting my phone on the internet, but if you need help buying or selling a house or you have something that you want to try to build or change, 